Now this part of the installation is going to apply to kits from N2 Designs that start with N2-EA. If you purchase a smart module and you have a remote starter already or just bought one that starts off with the part numbers N2-EA, this installation video is for you. If your part number starts off with N2-EO, there's a different video that we have that you should be watching. With the harness, you'll notice that there is an adapter on here and this is what makes it unique to the N2-EA is this part, okay? You'll get a connector, it's already connected blue to blue you'll have this black female and you have this uh, black male okay so what we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna plug in the flat connector okay into the module okay and what we're going to do is grab the black connector with the key or tab on top clicker whatever you want to call it it's four pin it's identical to the one you used originally to program the remote starter except this one has a clicker a tap you're gonna take that and that's gonna be your power but before you do that what you want to do is unplug the one that you used to program the remote starter you're never gonna use it again you're also never gonna use the blue that comes off the remote starter harness the big fabric harness that you already have okay this is not a standalone unit you cannot just install it without having an N2 remote starter first so now that you've unplugged the original 4 pin data link you're gonna take that big four pin black connector with the tab like we said you're going to plug it in to the black female that's next to the blue to blue this is your power okay click you're gonna have a red and green light and it takes about a minute they're gonna flicker and red is GPS green is data uh, when they're blinking they're hunting for signal when they're solid after about a minute or so um, you can start your programming. You'll also notice that there's a sticker that comes on the module, taped to the module. This is identical to the sticker that's already on there. This is for your door jam, so you can refer to it if you ever have to get tech support. When it's hunting for signal, what we want to do, the best place to put it is right here by the driver's A pillar on top of the left AC vent. Just to give it a clear line of sight. Now that the lights are solid, red and green, and when we say red and green on the smart module, not the remote starter, okay? We'll put it back. To start programming, we're going to grab the very end of the smart module harness, which would be, and that's off the LLRS adapter that's connected blue to blue to the remote starter. It's identical, completely, no tab, no connector, to the one we just took out, the one that you originally used to program this module that we're not using anymore. So we're gonna do the same thing with the programming, except this time, when we program it, you're gonna wait for red and blue to come on and then you'll let go of the programming button so it's gonna you're gonna hold down the program button it's gonna cycle through a bunch of colors when red and blue come on you're gonna let go so you hold it down while you plug this in and keep it held red and blue you let go now what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold that programming button once more the lights the red and blue are gonna turn off and they're gonna turn back on. You will let go after they come back on. Do not let go before. So it's gonna wink at you. Don't take sight off of that. And we let go, it came back on. So now what we're going to do, there's gonna be two clicks of the ignition. Turn it on, and not too fast, not too slow, while you keep your eye on the lights. One, two, after second press, your yellow light the amber in the middle should come on. On the third press, they will flicker and everything will turn off. You have successfully programmed your smart module. And now we will go to the app portion. So if you guys did get the smartphone app, you want to go ahead and just download this now. It's called Link R, all together, and then space LT. So let's go ahead and download it and I'll show you what's next. Ready to tuck everything away after testing that it works. It's time to almost put the trim back. If you got any clips, don't forget to put them back. Sometimes they're stuck in the holes. You just pinch them, they fall out. Now we're gonna take the smart module and we wanna put them in the uh, rocker panel next to the driver's left ankle. We wanna put them in this orientation, kinda drop them in. So where he's sitting, this connector is actually sitting on the floorboard in there. So you kinda shape it a little bit like a U. Don't put too much strain on the end over here. And you'll go in here in the back and kind of just drop them in. To put back the trim, we're going to start with the column a trim first. To turn the wheel one way. Now when you do that, if you hear any rubbing like this, now's the time to do your adjustment before doing the screws back in. 
So sometimes you just have to wiggle this a little bit to get it right. You're done.